Hi friends, in this lecture, we will see how to create ETL job in AWS Glue. So as part of this lecture, we are going to create a job, then we will load data from S3 bucket to Redshift. So just first move on to S3 bucket. Here, I have a file, alexa-rating.csv, which has around 3150 records, if you can remove the header. And we are going to be load this data into Redshift. And I have a table called Alexa underscore data and it has a metadata of five columns. And if you can run this particular query, that will retry zero records. See, I do have zero records. Now, so what are the records I do have in this CSV file? Now we are going to be load this data into Redshift by using Glue. Right, so just move on to Glue console. And if you can have a look at in the table section, I have two tables called Alexa underscore rating. If you can see classification as CSV, and I do have AWS Glue public Alexa data. I do have a classification called Redshift. This is my file and this is my table. Now I'm going to be creating a job which can load data from this CSV file to Redshift. Right. Now we have source and target. Now we'll create a detailed job to load data from CSV to Redshift. Now, another ETL section, you can see jobs. Just click on jobs. Now we are going to be create a job. So just provide your job name. I'm trying to provide a J underscore Alexa. So here we need to choose the IAM role. So if you can have a look at uh, on the three options here, this job runs. The first one generates a Python or Scala code depending on the selection by AWS Glue. The second one, existing script. If you have any existing script, you can select that script by selecting this radio button that will give you browse option to select your script. So here I'm going to be select first one, a proposed script generated by AWS Glue. So what type of language it will generate here? It generates a Python and Scala. So at this point, I'm selecting Python here and the script file name comes automatically. So where this script will store? The script will come and store in your S3 bucket under this particular folder and has a temporary directory under this particular folder. Now click on next. So here we need to select our source. Our source is Alexa rating underscore CSV and click on next. Here we need to select our target. Select your target here and click on next. So this is our mapping. This is my source and my target. So if you can see here column name, data type, map to the target. This particular column in the source map to this particular column in the target. If you want to do change your target column name, just click on this one. That will give you list of all the columns available in the target from the drop down list. Select your respective column here and click on save. And also, if you can observe here in the source, I have a column name date, which is a data type as string. But in target, the same column is going to be data type as date. Now it will convert your string to date data types. So once you're done with the mapping and just scroll down, click on next. You can review everything over here. If you want to do changes, go back as save job and edit script. Now, Glue can generate a Python script here and on your left side, that can generate a diagram here. If you can see diagram here, this is my source and this is my target. And between these two source and target, we do have logics. Okay. So this is my Python script, which was generated by AWS Glue. Right. So I'm not going to be doing any changes here. Um, if you can see here, just click on your source. That will highlight your respective code on your right side of the pane. And if you want to do changes, you can do changes immediately in the respective pane. And just click here, that will highlight the respective code. If you can click here, that will highlight respective fields. So, and this can be applicable 
still at the end see here right if you want to do changes you can go ahead and do changes and if you don't want to do any changes here you can click run on job so if you want to do or apply any advanced properties here just provide your properties or parameters here and finally click run on job good now your glue etl job is running so just wait for some time right now if you can see here it's generating the code so just wait for some time it is almost done right my job is done so now just move on to that shift console and query your table here and it's running now just returned can the course now right and you can check uh, by placing count of store here to know your record count and just run your query good now it just got loaded 3150 records so the same records which are available here 3151 and the very first record is a header column so now totally i have 3150 records which are loaded into your redshift so this is how we create a job and load data from s3 bucket to redshift thank you guys